Well, to some medical news now, having a stroke is among the most devastating conditions a person can face. About two thirds of its victims are over 65. But it can also strike those much younger. A Wisconsin woman is still recovering nearly a decade after suffering a stroke. News 19's Lindsay Ford shows us how she's finding her inner peace and staying flexible during her healing. Yes, that's it, Sarah. Now extend. Sarah Marie Anderson suffered a stroke at the age of 27. Is this something you ever thought would ever happen to you? Of course not, no. But it did, and I'm rolling with it, trying to make the most out of it. Reach up. Reach up through your right hand. I thought he was having a nightmare. The severe cerebellar stroke turned her world upside down. It happened while she was living in Los Angeles. On June 30th, 2009, all I can move on my whole body was this little baby finger. That's all I can move. That's it. Now press down into your feet and lift your trunk up. Anderson is now 38 and still on the road to recovery through individualized yoga with a high-level yoga instructor, focusing on balance and strength. Now just focus. Mm -hmm. Really focus. What was the cause? What did the doctors tell you? It's not 100% for sure, but my neurologist has, after, since the stroke, told me that the most likely cause was the fact that I was a migraine with aura sufferer and I was t taking a combined progesterone estrogen birth control. After the stroke, Sarah Marie was in intensive care for six months. It took that long before she was able to return home to Westby, Wisconsin. One, two, three, up. Yes. Jennifer McElroy, a doctor at Mayo Clinic Health System who specializes in osteopathy and an obstetrician gynecologist, says there are multiple options for contraception. The most important thing is to kind of discern, you know, what are the patient's goals? What are they trying to achieve, you know, um, with this intervention? And then after that, you have to determine whether or not they're eligible. McElroy says there is no universal answer to the wide range birth control options. So there's a whole, whole lot of different reasons to consider um, pursuing uh, these methods. So it's kind of important to, to kind of dig deep a little bit. McElroy highly recommends people talk to their health care provider. Side effects are different for everyone. Would definitely recommend, you know, um, talking to a provider if considering, you know, pursuing any of these options. Sarah Marie wrote a book about her journey of recovery. She says writing the book has been therapeutic. It has changed my life entirely. I typed it all with my one working hand. Sarah is hopeful for the future. Don't let life break you because every one of us is going to have challenges, you know, that are going to bend and maybe reshape us, but just don't let it break you. Don't let it break your spirit. In Westby, Lindsay Ford, WXOW News 19. To learn more about the health risk of contraception methods and symptoms of a stroke, go to our website, WXOW.com.